Hey yogis and friends, it's Danny. I am just giving you guys a shout out to say hello, kind of celebrate the fact that my Facebook page that has for a long time been You, Me, and Yoga Makes Three is now officially Danny Eats Life. It's all the same as I said before, but it's, it's now official. It's all streamlined and that feels good. Um, I'm starting to teach a lot here in Los Angeles, the Green Yogi at U Studio Yoga, Yoga Vibe, and I'm going to be starting new classes at In Yoga very soon. Um, something that I just wanted to share with you guys um, just has to do with making these videos. I A few years ago, I made a video with my brother, and because I've always wanted to kind of host my own TV show or something like that, as ridiculous as it sounds now. Um, that's my dog whining. Um, but I, I saw myself on video then, just a couple years ago. I was already teaching yoga and everything. And I cried. Um, I hated the way I looked. I hated the sound of my voice. And I'm crying now because it's, it's just painful to think about how unnecessarily unkind I was to myself. And I can still be that way. Still very hard on myself, very impatient. Um, but what I've kind of slowly come to realize as I started to make these videos and share more of yoga, um, as I see it, and I, I'm the same me, I still talk with kind of a crooked mouth and I still have really frizzy hair and cellulite on my thighs and whatever. I'm still flawed. That's always going to be there. But I'm whole and I'm free. And I'm going to let go of trying to be something that I'm not or hating myself for what I'm not and ch instead choose to love and accept and embrace everything I am. The long nose and the crooked mouth and the frizzy hair and whatever my voice is, is mine. No one else has that. And instead of seeing how it doesn't measure up to others, I need to see how it's special and unique to me. And I share this with you so that maybe you, instead of looking in the mirror and seeing wrinkles or seeing pimples, which I totally have right now, um, you see your uniqueness, you see the light behind your eyes, you feel the sincerity in your smile, you feel the heart come through. Um, and so that has been kind of my, my hump day mantra today. I closed my eyes and I sat and I just breathed and I said, I am flawed, but I am free. I'm letting go of trying. I'm just going to be me. Maybe think of one that resonates with you and keep that with you on your really shitty days. On the days when you feel ugly or you feel like a failure, we're going to have those days. Know that it will go back up. There is always an upswing and you've got to be there to kind of hoist yourself up and pull yourself out of that little self-pitying hole, you know, because no one else is going to do that for you but you. I will as your yoga teacher, and I'm sure you have loved ones and friends, but you know it really means more when you feel it. So looking back at that video now, a couple years later, I see, I see the joy in how I was having a good time instead of seeing how I didn't really look great or didn't really sound great or, you know, looking at myself as such a superficial lens instead of really appreciating my essence and me. And the best part of me is not what you see here, it's what you feel here. And that goes the same for you as well. So, thanks for connecting. Namaste.